Okay, ladies and gents, how to form the imperfect tense. Okay, so here we go. So, the imperfect tense is used in order to say what used to happen on a regular basis, if like how things were in the past. Okay, so that is the first thing that we need to establish. I used to do this, I used to go to judo, I used to play football every week, that kind of thing. Now, to form the imperfect, take the new form of the present tense. So, the new form of the present tense. And what you do, you take off ONS ending and you add the following. So for je, I add on AIS. For two, AIS. Il and L, AIT. A new is IONS. VU is IZ. And IL is AIENT down here. Just note though, ETRE is different. So I was, for example, is jete and so on. Okay, I'm not going to go beyond that now. Okay, so this is actually sort of uh, looking at it in a bit more detail. Okay, so step one, we take uh, we live in the present tense, nous habitons. Step two, okay, you then take that ons off it. Step three, you then replace it with these endings I've just gone through. Remember, je, the one that you're going to use the most is AIS, a new IONS. We just stick to those two. Okay. Right. I'm going to be like a roving reporter. I'm going to move. That's if it lets me. I'm going to go over here. Right. So, quand j'étais jeune, when I was young, or quand j'étais petit, uh, when I was little. Okay. Or alternatively, quand j'avais deux ans, when I was 12. Notice this, j'avais, because in with regards to age in French, we use avoir instead of être. Literally, when I had 12 years old. J'habitais, I used to live, or nous habitions, we used to live. Okay. À Woking, in Woking. En ville, in town. À la campagne, in the countryside. À la montagne, in the mountains. Or, au bout de la mer, by the seaside. Okay. Have a good look. Next slide. And I'm moving again. Here we go. So still operating in the imperfect tense. So these are the things that I used to do uh, when I used to live there, etc. So, je jouais. Je jouais au foot. I used to play uh, football. Je jouais, uh, je jouais au hockey. I used to play hockey. Or basket. Basket and uh, ball and so on. Okay. Je faisais. I used to do. From faire to do. Je faisais euh, du judo. I used to do judo. Okay. Je prenais, I used to take, des cours de guitare. Guitar courses. Okay. So we've got that bit there. And then we're going to now compare it with what we do in the present. Présent. Maintenant, j'habite. Now I live à, or on, or in, or at, if you know what I mean. Here we go. So let's have a look. Okay. Where am I going to put myself this time? Uh, if that, yep, there, you get the idea. All right. So this is an exercise where you're going to have to sort of match these up. Okay, but I'm going to go through what they mean. All right. So now I live in, okay, um, I don't know, Basingstoke, that's where I'm from. And then you say what you think of things in Basingstoke. Je, je pense que, I think that. Je dirais que, I would say that, à mon avis, in my opinion. Les magasins ici, uh, the shops here, sont plus chers or more expensive. So, in comparison to perhaps the shops where you were before. Le château ici, the castle here, est plus beau. The castle here is more beautiful. Yeah, plus beau. La gare ici, the train station here, est plus bruyante. The train station here is noisier. Literally more noisy. Le marché ici... The market here est plus vivant. The market here is more lively. Or, la piscine ici est plus petite. Okay, agreeing there. The swimming pool here is uh, literally more small or smaller. Okay, little conundrum down here. La campagne est moins bruyante. Okay, just think as to what that means. So I'm not going to go into details on that one. Right. Now, speaking activity here, 
So we got uh, four questions. Again, I'm going to move over here if it lets me. Here we go. Yep, just that. Right, I'm over here. Quand tu étais jeune, when you were young, où habitais-tu? Where did you used to live? Que faisais-tu d'avant? What did you used to do previously? Et maintenant? Um, and now, where do you live? Except uh, the two has uh, disappeared. There it is. Et maintenant, où habites-tu? Uh, and now, where do you live? Que penses-tu de ta ville? What do you think of your town or about your town? Okay, so number one, get the answers from here. You formulate the answers from there. Number two, some ideas from here. Number three, just this little bit here. And then number four, what do you think about your town? I think that the shops are or whatever down here. Okay, and that's the uh, same version. It's all the same exercise, but uh, less information to work from. Okay, merci, mesdames, messieurs, et au revoir. It's disappeared again. Oh dear. Why does that? Mm -hmm.